Welcome back to editing with iMovie on the iPad. And now that we have uh, created our project, I'd like to add some video footage to start uh, creating my new story. So the first thing I want to do um, on the upper right hand side, you'll notice all of your footage, your video, your photos and your audio. Now I created an album on my camera roll, in my photo album called iMovie Tutorial. That's where I put all the clips that I captured on my iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that and that's going to access all of the footage that I uh, recorded. On the bottom of that is my interview, Drew. Now in a new story, in many videos, I like to set the sound first. The sound sets the pace, the rhythm, the tone of the story, and the most important sound for my new story is going to come from my interview. So I find Drew there at the bottom. I'm going to tap on that particular clip where I interviewed him, and I have a couple of different options. I can preview the video by hitting the play button, and now that pops up in my video player. I can tap that again and it will pause the video, stop it. Um, or I can just go ahead and select that entire clip um, and send it to the timeline by selecting the arrow pointing down. Now I have added my, uh, my video clips here to the timeline. As I scroll through with my finger, you're going to notice there is a gap of black in the middle. That's because this is the first sound bite I know I want to use for my story. And now this is the second one I would like to use. So I need to get rid of that gap of black. I don't want that to appear in my video story. So there's a couple things we can do. The first is I'm going to tap the clip in the timeline. It becomes highlighted. And at the bottom of the screen, you have some options. Um, and you have split, detach audio, or du duplicate. So I'm going to go ahead, that line that's cutting right down through the middle of the timeline. I'm going to select a part here on my first sound bite by clicking and dragging with my finger. Looks like he stops talking right about there. I'm going to highlight that clip and it's going to split it right where that playhead is. So I'm going to touch split and now I've created two clips. Drew stops talking there and now I have a separate clip right here with the gap of black before Drew talks again. I still need to get rid of that black. So I'm going to move the playhead right to the beginning part of when Drew talks. I'm going to tap that new clip that I just created. I'm going to select split again. And now I have that gap of black that I can get rid of. I'm going to tap that gap of black. And in the lower right hand corner, there is a trash can that says delete. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And now I have my first sound bite and my second sound bite and it's a straight cut. And you notice it cuts from Drew to Drew. That's called a jump cut. We're actually gonna go ahead and fix that kind of edit uh, in our next series when we show you how to add B-roll. Okay, so let's say you made a mistake and you actually want to undo the, uh, the, the functions that you just created. I can select one of these clips and uh, in the middle portion of the screen on the right is a curved arrow pointing down and I can uh, select that, that will undo that. And you notice that gap of black is back. And so that's how you could undo a mistake. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these clips because I'm gonna show you another way to add them to the timeline. So I'm gonna highlight each clip and select delete, highlight and delete, highlight and delete. So no clips on my timeline. We're gonna go back to the recently added and here my iMovie tutorial album and my interview with Drew. And when I tap on that again, I've got my same functions, the arrow pointing down or my play button to preview it. One thing I can do is I can edit it from this particular part of the interface. If I go ahead and take my finger and grab the highlighted bracketed gold part to the right and just drag it to the left, I'm going to get to that black part and then I get right to the end of Drew talking right there. I can now hit the arrow pointing down and add just that section of the soundbite. So instead of having a 33 second soundbite, I now have 16 seconds of Drew talking. And if I want to add that second piece of the interview, I will go back and select that clip. The gold border, I'm going to drag it from the left now to the right through that uh, space of black, right to the point where he's gonna start talking. I'm doing all of this with my fingertip and I'm gonna hit that arrow pointing down. And now I have my two clips. 
All right. So those are the two ways to add uh, video clips, in this case, interview clips, to your timeline for your new story. Coming up in our next tutorial video, I'll show you how to add B-roll to really enhance the storytelling and cover up that nasty jump cut.